In this video, you will learn how to install Pandas library for a Python project in PyCharm IDE. And at the last, we will write a small Python code also using this Pandas library. So do hit the like button if you find this video useful. Now first of all, we will open that Python project in PyCharm for which we want to install Pandas library. For me, I want to install in this Hello World project. So I have opened this particular project in PyCharm. Now to install Pandas, first we will click on this file here. Then go to this new project setup. And here we will click on this settings for new projects. Now we will click on this Python interpreter. And once you click on this, you would see this drop down of Python interpreter where all the interpreters are listed that are available in our system. So from this drop down, we will select the correct Python interpreter for which we want to install pandas. For me, the correct interpreter is this one which is present inside this hello world project. So I will select this particular interpreter here. The selection of interpreter is very important because if you select the incorrect interpreter, then you won't be able to use pandas properly in your python projects and it will give you errors when you will try to import this pandas module. And as soon as we select the interpreter from this drop down, it will list down all the packages here that are already installed for the selected python interpreter. So for me currently it is showing only pip and setup tools because I have only these two libraries installed in the selected interpreter. Now we will click on this plus icon here which will open up this new window of available packages. Now to install pandas we will search for pandas in this search box. This is the one so we will select this and click on this install package here. So this will install this particular version of pandas which is this 2.2.2 which is the latest one but for some reason if you want to install any older version then you can specify the version by enabling this particular option from here but for now i will go ahead with the latest version only and once this is installed we will see this type of message here package pandas installed successfully so now we can close this window from here and here we will see this pandas package and couple of more packages which were not present earlier these other libraries got installed automatically because these are the required ones for proper functioning of pandas. So now we will click on this ok. And now it's time to verify the installation of pandas, whether the pandas library is installed properly or not. And for that we will write couple of lines of python code here. So first we will create an empty python file and for that we will click on this file then new. And here we will select this python file. And now we will give the name of the file so let's say it is hello.py so i will write hello and double click on this python file so this will create this hello.py file for us and now in this file first we will import the pandas module so we will write import pandas as pd so this pd is the alias for our pandas library now we will define a dictionary and let's say the reference variable name is data so we will say data equals to curly braces and in this dictionary we have two keys so let's say it is name and age and now we will assign a list to each of the keys so this will be a list and this will be also a list so the name key will be associated with a list of names so let's give some names here so let's say alice then bob let's say the third one is charlie similarly the age key will be associated with a list of ages so let's give some ages here so let's say it is 25 then 30 then 35 Let's remove this. Now we will create a data frame from this data dictionary and for that we will use the pandas library which we have installed just now. So we will call the data frame constructor. So let's say pd dot data frame and in this constructor we will pass the data variable as the argument and let's now assign this data frame to the df variable. 
so this data frame constructor will convert this data dictionary into a data frame where the keys will become the columns and the associated lists will become the rows in that data frame so let's now print the data frame to see whether it is working properly or not so we will write print then df and now to run this program we will right click and click on this run hello here so the code ran successfully without any error and if this worked for you also and you got to learn something new from this video then do hit the like button so now here in the output we did not get any error and if you notice the columns are name and age which were the keys in our dictionary and the contents of these lists are forming the rows in this data frame so now let me know in comments if this video was useful to you